that'll be memorable for the people you're invading in some kind of way. Yeah, and if you that's, want, that's my rec. If you want real examples, check out Iced, who was talking just now. Uh, videos on YouTube. He, he shows off what you can do with just human interaction in this game. It's so amazing. Whereas, like with my videos, it's just like trying to be sweaty and kill everybody. <laughs> Like, like, I don't mean to get too, you know, philosophical about it, but I just really like to encourage, like, a variety of gameplay because this game, like, fosters it, right? So, like, if you just want to be, like, a straight-up murderer, like, do it. That's awesome. But, like, just know there are other options, too, so, you know. One thing that I can, I can really say is that, like... Starting out, you're going to see a lot of people, everyone's using poke weapons, right? And it's really effective, like, to use halberds and heavy thrusting swords and power stance, great lances and all of that. But uh, I think that early on I was crutching on thrust weapons too much and I had bad spacing. And Blade of Maya suggested I use a curved sword and it really helped me actually get better at spacing because you have to space your attacks correctly to land any hits with it. It's not like easy like with a thrusting weapon, you know? Speaking of spacing. Actually, yeah, the, the, the jumping and the... So there's a combo on the light bow that if you hit one... Oh wait, let's see if I can hit it. Uh, the follow-up usually hits it well. Yeah, not, not like this, but hey. I... Should I become a light roller enjoyer or go for poise? I mean, I think that poise would be better just because light roll is... Yeah. Light roll is addictive. It's like addictive. No, don't do it. Once you start doing it and it's like a terrible crutch, you will hate your medium rolls if you start light rolling all the time, you know? Absolutely. And people will hate to fight you too. You'll get all kinds of like shit talk and hate mail and all of that. Nope. <laughs> yeah, like the, the anti light roll discourse is really strong, especially right now. Oh, Understandable. No. Like po high poise is really strong too, especially when you're fighting ganks. You know, it will give you a chance to trade instead of just like be stunned until you die. GG's insane. But I would also say don't let the PvP community turn you off from just trying things out either, because yeah. they'll hate you if you use anything effective, basically. That's true. <laughs> it's true. Yeah. Like it, it's important to not like pay too much attention to the ongoing debate and <laughs> just like play the game, right? Because like, like it goes back to just having fun. Like we're playing a game. Like let's have fun with it. I'd say that's a solid description of what it tastes like. Everything that's not chicken tastes like chicken. Kind of, you know. Like frog legs taste like chicken. Yeah. Um, yeah, gator like really tastes like chicken. It's like, what? Are y'all serving me chicken? It's like, no, this is gator. Close enough. I mean, they do say that like birds are descended from dinosaurs, so I guess it makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, totally. Um, Otto, going to Miami on Wednesday, so you'll have to see if you can get some gator. You might have to go, like, toward the Everglades uh, to find it. And if you're in Miami, I think rather than gator, you should be getting Cuban food. <laughs> um, Fair point. Which is some of the best food in the world, in my opinion. There we go. GG's. Say no. Okay. Also, like, I take it. <laughs> make sure in Miami. <laughs> since we're. Ooh, Kaylet. Hey, fellas. Ooh. Ouch. Somehow I'm not hitting orange, I don't know why. There you go. Wait, you're moon wailing? No. 
really, bro? I love the fact that if you whiff the parry, you still get the, the projectiles. Good Moonville everywhere. Absolutely. S280F. Welcome for the level 60 dex, I guess. Yeah, pretty much. I guess more strength than dex. 20 strength just to be able to use the great bow here. So here are the stats for those that are wondering. I think starting class is a Vagabond. But yeah, bow builds are super fun if you know how to play them. Uh, with talismans, yeah. So just the arrow string, shard of Alexander or the spear talisman depending on on whether I use the short bow or the great bow. And if you're not going for fashion then I would recommend this combination here just these two and that like these three fuck hard take a man out of florida you 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 can't take the florida out the man that's right even mod <clears throat> like there are many reasons why i'm not there anymore yeah i mean because like i read this news story where a guy tried to like rob a Rob a Burger King with an alligator, and that's the most Florida. <laughs> that's the most Florida thing I've ever heard. Like the gator was gonna be the threat, but he threw the gator into the Burger King, so like he kind of uh, he kind of gave up his only leveraging weapon. So I don't know exactly how that worked out. Mm. Uh, he went to jail, obviously, because you can't try to rob a Burger King with an alligator. Well, you can always try, but yeah. I mean. <laughs> Yeah, maybe they were just like in cahoots, right? It's like his pet gator, and they're just like trying to get a meal. Like, do you know how big the gator oh, was? Oh. Like, how, how big do they get? Could you like just have him <laughs> under his uh, hun under your arm and then just... Hold it it I was mean... like a baby gator, uh. you know? Because obviously if it was like an adult size gator, he couldn't have like thrown it in the window like that. <laughs> but the, the but best was that part... Yeah, the best part about this story is that there were no drugs involved. Like... <laughs> oh, there's another red. It's just that gator adrenaline, dude. It's, it's dude. something you expect from, like, somebody on meth does this, you know what I mean? But, like, somebody completely sober does this? Why? Just why? Who's that? You, yeah, dude. You oh. don't ask why. That's what we learn living in the world. Did, the, the, <laughs> with it. did the gator go to jail? He didn't do anything wrong. <laughs> The gator was probably the evil mastermind behind everything. They rescued the gator and dropped it back off at the golf course where it lives. <laughs> I mean, it was it was like a fast food restaurant, so they probably just cut it up and made meat out of it. Oh, hit somebody. <laughs> gator Mafia, too powerful. <laughs> gator tendies. Out of my way, you rat. Out of my way, Red. Oh, wow. Is it Puku? No. So, to make this, like, more Souls relevant, um, you guys remember in Dark Souls 3 when you're, like, on the way to Irithyll and suddenly one of Pontiff Sullivan's beasts appears? And you're like, oh, yeah. shit. Yeah. So, like, what do you think, chat? Is that like more of a dog or is it more of an alligator? I definitely think dog. Uh, you know, because everything I'm is a dog these days. Gator 100% scribble, you're not on the Elden team <laughs> because everything is a dog now. It's like, try your best to see every invasion like a singular episode, right? Or like when you die, like you just realize, okay, I died because of this, whatever. Just move on to the next one. Try not to bring that like energy that you may feel from that previous invasion into the next one. Just like, you know, keep on rolling. Don't let it get you down. It's 
celebrate those wins or those funky interactions. Um, Cause yeah, I think I've, I've read a lot of people like, they get really frustrated with invasions and how Elden Ring balance is set up. And they'll say, oh, I'm quitting, you know? And it's like, I get that. But like, if you can somehow separate each invasion and recognize that they're nice parry, they're like an individual, you know, episode of your journey as an invader, like, you'll have a much better time, so. Yeah, absolutely. Nice, nice party again. boom. Right, and, and like, it's just like, if you can watch your, if you can uh, record everything and watch it back and try and, like, analyze your mistakes a little bit, I think that really helps to, like, you can say, I, I should have spaced a little better here, or I was too aggressive, or I was too passive. Like, uh, I feel like some good advice with invasions I've heard is know your moment. Like, if you see that your opponent is busy with an enemy, go in there and attack him for some quick damage. You know, like, strategize like that. And w one thing I really think that helps me is, like, you can't just run in there when it's, like, two and three people with no uh, obstacles around. They'll You'll just get blindered. Like, you use walls, and you use lifts, and use the environment. Like, like the map is your greatest weapon. You see very good uh, players, or like PvP players on YouTube or whatever, and then you just try to emulate that uh, with semi... with being semi-successfully. So I'd rather, like, um, recommend streamers that actually know how to use the environment and mobs to their advantage. And I think, like, M is, is one streamer that I really enjoy watching because she really does the um, the taking advantage of everything sneaking up on the group then uh, retreating again um, and she makes so, so much uh, like a lot of lovely videos so if you can't give a shout out to him I think I have a command I definitely check her stuff out yeah that was great it's really bonded over having a similar kind of like philosophy about invading and content production. Can't recommend them enough to mess around with. Um, I played around with Enchanted Shot on a... So, like, my history yeah. with bows is, I think before I went to Mexico, I did a Robin Hood build. But that has been replaced by this Boina build, at least for now. And I think Enchanted Shot is really interesting because you will hit somebody that is strafing. Like here, for example. See? Well, I didn't hit him because of obvious reasons, but that's cool. Uh, but it just eats so much FP. It's crazy. Oh, amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Dude, Nox, Nox Huntress has been doing these like curved trick shots with the Enchanted shot like you twirl <laughs> yeah. before letting it out and it will like do a huge arc curve which is wild you have to kind of be like facing like backwards when you let the shot out so you gotta time the twirl right but like this oh no let's it up a bit Rain of Arrows is oppressive at this rune level. Oh, no. Yeah, for sure. No. Ooh, that was close. Yeah, I'm not sure I can Let's see. And and Nox is a good one to mention because she showed that you can consistently get headshots with a bow basically, and that you can play aggressively and engaging instead of the annoying passive mm -hmm. bow style. Which is like, that's the most important thing to keep in mind on a bow build, like, in my opinion. Like, you really just be, I mean, a passive play, regardless of your build, can be kind of annoying. Right? Yeah. Like, if you're playing keep away, and I'm not talking about, like, spacing, you know, and zoning, that's fine, but, like, when you're playing like super passive keep away. Like I feel like the rhetoric about like light roll being so strong and miserable or a lot of people hate bows in general. It's because it's often, or like mages that shoot projectiles and shit. 
it's it's yeah. often paired with a passive playstyle, and so. So would you say yeah. this is passive right now, or? I would say that you're no, you're like because you're the aggressor, like like you're right there, you just like facing got that well because you were pushing, you know. Yeah. Like oh, you, in an invasion, you have to be reactive to the situation. Like you can't just <laughs> you can't just keep doing sprint shots as this blue comes in and like katana's your ass, right? Like you have to react, but like what I'm talking about is like the players that light roll backwards constantly you know and all they're doing is like reaction shots to anything you do toward them that's when it's like yeah which to be fair like i wouldn't get um mixed up uh about like oh. passive play like to be an invader sometimes you have to be passive like like running into mobs and stuff just to just to get out of the blender a little bit oh, you shit. know <laughs> Jeez. That's true, Woman. You know, I've been doing like a TT run for the past few days with a friend at uh, RL30. And it's been interesting to see, like, you know, from that perspective, how a lot of other invaders play. And, uh. Maria Nia, welcome in. Oh, what's up, Marissa? Yeah, so. Oh, Marissa, well, like, sorry, a lot Maria. of invaders will just be pure passive. Like, all they do from the get is, like, go hide behind the mobs and like fire bow shots which is i mean that's a play style it's fine but like if you can be the aggressor it might be a little bit more fun you know nope marissa streams as well i think yeah right? let's give a shout out to marissa here i haven't caught one of your streams yet but i definitely will This is awesome. Come on. Hmm. Still looking for a roll catch tool with the bow. Hmm. Roll catch tool with the bow. <laughs> oh, that knockdown. Love it. <laughs> love it. Love it. It's just it. full of arrows right now. <laughs> You're creating por porcupine cosplays for everybody. Absolutely bullied. 